Okay, you want to start off with your Procreate app, which I have downloaded right here. So I just opened it up and then opened a square canvas. You have your first layer right here. And what you want to do is fill it any color you want. Today, let's do a pink. Let's make it that color. I love pink. I'm always making everything pink. And you want to fill this background. Boom. So you have your background and you want to fill this background. Boom. So you have your background and then you want to go ahead and select a layer and draw your main element. For today, we can do a simple element since this is a tutorial for beginners and I don't want to confuse you too much. You should have this right now. You should have two layers. One is your main color and the second will be what you draw your main element on. Our main element for today will be a flower. We'll make it a flower. Pro tip is if you want your lines to look smooth as you draw, you click on this little tool right here. Click on preferences or preps. And down here it says pressure and smoothing. Click that and you can drag stabilization up and down for sort of a guide for when you draw your lines. While I draw my lines, it helps me stabilize my lines so they're not all bumpy and stuff. Kind of looks like a butterfly, so maybe I'll add some more flower petals. Fill in the colors, you can just hold your apple pencil down here and drag it to the areas that you want filled in. At the center of my flower, I'll have yellow. We have our cute little flower. We have our second layer, which is our main element, the flower, and our first layer, which is just background color. I like to duplicate my elements to save one to the side in case I mess up, but we'll move this. And then we are going to merge the first and second layer. So the layer with our background color and the layer with our main elements. To merge your layers, you just pinch the layers that you want merged together. So you go like this, and then boom, you've got your merge layer. Now for the part that could get confusing. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Duplicate your layer. To do so, you swipe your layer to the left. It gives you three options. Lock, duplicate, and delete. You want to duplicate that. And as you can see, it created another layer of the same design. Click this cursor at the top. It should select the whole canvas. At the bottom, where you can see this that says snapping, you want to click that and have magnetics on and snapping on. You can raise this distance if you want. After you do that, move this all the way up. You wanna make sure that these yellow lines can be seen because that's how you know it's centered. If you move it even a little bit, the yellow lines go away and that's how you know that it's a little to the side and it's not gonna be symmetrical. All the way up until you see this yellow line up here in the middle and click the layer that hasn't been moved yet move that one downward. So one you move up and the other you move down. Again making sure the yellow line stays there. There you go. Go ahead and do the same thing we did earlier with merging the layers. Pinch them together and you've got one whole layer. Duplicate that again. Now you have two layers of the new design. This time instead of moving one up and moving one down, we'll shift them sideways. So grab this one and move this one to the left. So to the left, keeping the yellow lines, like the other one that hasn't been moved yet, which should look like a full square. The one that's moved should look like a rectangle because it's only part of the full canvas. And move the other one to the opposite side. There you go. Now that you've had something that looks like this, merge your layers. When you see this blank center, you can add fillers such as polka dots, hearts, more shapes, whatever you'd like. This is just so it fills in the space for when you make your pattern so it doesn't look so sparse everywhere. Let's do something simple. I think I'll just do polka dots. Do polka dot here, 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 all around. Once you're done filling in that space, You'll see that you'll just have your layer. Duplicate that again. Do the same thing we did last time. 
move one layer up and move one layer down. Making sure we still see the yellow lines. One down. Continue on, duplicate this, move it up, move this one down. Merge this. Pretty satisfied with my fillers. And if you are, what you will do is do your final merge for your fillers. My camera died. Once you're satisfied with all of your fillers that you've added, merge them together like we did last time. So you have one entire layer. You want to duplicate this four times. So swipe left. That's two, three, four. And I like to save an extra one just in case, but you don't have to. Grab your first layer, click the cursor, and drag them to each corner. So the first layer will go to this corner up here, the second layer will go up here, third down here, and fourth right there. To the corner up here until you see the yellow lines, you see them pop up, done. Now we move down to the next one, click the cursor, and drag that to that corner. And you'll start to see how the designs connect together. Move to the third, drag down, Boom, it's like a puzzle piece. One of them is a little off though. You can see our pattern start to form. If you want this to be smaller, merge all your layers together and repeat the same steps. So you've got your new layer, duplicate it four times, well, three times. Drag each layer to the corners. And the more you go, the smaller it gets. So. However small the pattern is that you'd like it, feel free to continue to drag. You can see that. And there you have it, your seamless design. Now for your elements, you can really make them anything you want. You can make them a bear, you can make it a flower, whichever. As long as when you draw your original element, let me show you. As long as when you draw your main element, it doesn't touch the edges. So you see we have our flower. When you make your elements, you don't want to draw like this. You want to keep it within the border. So here is fine, and we're here, and we're here, we're here, here. But just don't go like that. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial for how you can make seamless designs. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will try my best to get back to everybody. And if you'd like to see more DIYs and tutorials and just some random aesthetic looking stuff, subscribe and join the fam. Bye!